In today's quick demonstration, we are going to examine the Kony Remote Access Trojan. We're going to begin with a system that is set up as a sandbox with Silence Protect installed but in audit only mode. This system also has Silence Optics installed so that we can gain visibility into what happens as the malware actually runs. We begin by simply copying our sample over to the desktop and attempting to execute it. Because this system is running in audit-only mode, the malware will actually execute. As you can see, the original EXE disappears and is replaced by a Word document that actually opens in Microsoft Word. This behavior is interesting because the malware is running in the background while the user thinks that they are simply reading a Microsoft Word document. Now let's minimize Microsoft Word to see what Silence Protect sees as the malware actually runs. As evidenced here, there's at least one EXE and DLL that are measured by Silence Protect to be unsafe that are actually now running on the system. Now that we have let the malware run in our audit only sandbox, let's switch over to the Silence console and examine the threats that are running. We can see directly from the dashboard that there is a new threat that is registered as an auto run in our environment. Clicking on that threat will take us directly to the protection page to allow us to view information about this threat. We can see very quickly that this file is actually running on two different systems in the environment. We can quickly get to the systems by clicking on their names or we can view the Silence Optics focus data to view what this threat actually did to our system as it ran. We can quickly select the event that would have been prevented had we been in normal protection mode, and then we can quickly view the processes that have started as the malware ran. As you can see here, the same process winload.exe was detected on the system as the malware ran. This is the same malicious file that we saw directly on the client. Now, utilizing Silence Optics, we can search all of the rest of our systems for this same file to see if this malware has been running on any other system in the environment. Within just a few seconds, our InstaQuery will come back and we can open our results and view any of the systems where this malware has actually been running. As you can see here, it's the same two systems that were shown on the threats page, so we don't have any additional systems running the malware. Now let's switch to a system that has a properly configured Silence Protect policy to block and quarantine malware. This time, we're going to go ahead and grab all of the samples of the Kony RAT software and copy them over to the desktop. We will then begin to execute the same sample we did prior, and you can see Silence Protect immediately quarantines the file from actually executing. No matter which file we try to execute, Silence Protect detects the malware and quarantines the file. Also, all of the other samples have now disappeared due to the file watcher feature taking them out in the background. 